one of the first real warm days in the Netherlands and it's actually a waste of time to be in the workshop. Um, but Lisa's here so we're going to make another video again and we're going to make a video about my case and we're going to make a video about um, making a stool. A three-legged stool. Well, let's go into the workshop. I don't wanna. Yes, you have to. No. Bye, Kees. This is oak. And this is beech. There's not much to say about it, actually. It's just spindle turning. We make them here 25 and over here we make them 40 millimeters. And, and then a tenon to glue it into the... You're hungry, man. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I am. You should eat something. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Are you trying to lose weight or what? No. Okay. Well, I should, but I'm not trying. <laughs> if you ask a furniture maker, where do you use beach? He will say, uh, we'll use beach in a piece of furniture or in a construction where it moves. Okay. Beach has to move. So it's pretty much straightforward spindle turning. It's square now and I have to make it round. And we make it a little bit thinner here and a bit thicker over there. There, go, there we go. This is the distance and over here I want to be 40. What it is. And now it's just working in a straight line from this point to this point. Nothing more, nothing less. It's just a pity that my tool rest is it's 40 centimeters, it should be 42. Slowly getting there, um, I have to make one or two more cuts, but I first want to make the tenon now, the glue-in part to glue in the seat of uh, the three-legged tool. Let's do that, so it has to be 32 mils. And I know this is 40, so I have to be four, millim four millimeters away from that. Time to do some measurement. I'm way thicker than 32, but I, if I know, I have, I know how much I have to take off. Let's see where we are. 32 and a half. Oop. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay.
just over 32. And here also just over 32. So let's have a piece of sandpaper. That should do it. And one more thing to do is make a little thing. Take the square edge off so I can mount it more easy in the seat of the stool. I have drilled a hole in a, in a piece of scrap wood. But this is the hole that will be in the seat later on. So, oh, that's a nice snug fit. Great. This one, this tenon is okay. So let's focus on the other to get a nice straight line over here. As you see, I'm working downhill. I'm, I'm cutting in this direction. I'm never cutting that way, because then, then I'm going uphill and then I'm cutting against the grain. A bit of vibration already. Sure, honey, good vibrations. Yeah. So you see I did the whole piece with uh, a roughing gouge. If I now... Um, now it's just a matter of sanding, actually. And if you think, uh, it's not quite a straight line, take a piece of scrap wood with Velcro on it. Put your sandpaper on it. Uh, put the speed down. And start sanding. I don't know if you can see it, Lise. But if you send this way, you can very good see where your weak points are. And the weak points is the points where I've cut too deep over here and over here. So I have to do a bit more sending like this. Next is 180. I'm not going, send, going to send any higher. Because it is a stool and it's going to be used. So this is what it is. Nice. So the sanding finish is finished now. And I'm going to make two more little lines. And I use these two calipers so that I am sure that other two legs to be exactly the same, of course. And now I use a little wire, put the speed up and get a black line. Number one. And number two. Whoa. You can buy this uh, in a shop, but just an iron wire works. It burns, it burns. Oh my god! It is dead simple. <laughs> so this one is finished. Um, I don't think you are waiting for me to do another leg. So maybe we should give Google a chance to get a, a real tiny commercial in between and then we're back with three legs. We're back and all of a sudden we have three legs. It's amazing. Whoa. 
How is it possible? So for us it is time to work on the seat of the uh, stool. I still have a center point. Do we have a center point or a center fold? No a center point. <laughs> Try and look at that's good enough the first thing to do is make the make the bottom of the seat so that I can get the legs in there um, to do that I have to clamp this piece of wood and get rid of the tailstock because I want to go there. So let me first make a uh, very temporary recess and I make therefore I make a little recess of 125 millimeters. I use it just for a minute so that I can clamp the wood and work on the other side. Let's see how much that is. Two important things to do. Make a recess so I can clamp it again and work on the other side and make three holes um, where the legs go in. First things first, um, make a flat surface. There's the flat surface. Next thing to do is drill three holes and, and find the angle that these legs should be in. I want them about this. This is boring when they're just perpendicular, that's boring. So put them in a little angle. So I will drill a hole. Thank you. <laughs> but it also means that I have to reshape this part. Because this has to rest against the bottom. So let's do that. Let's check if it is flat. Great. For drilling these holes, I use a jig that is called a drill wizard. It's from one way and it's the white part um, where I put in an old drilling machine and I can, if I, if I lock it, and I can drill 
easy. It's fixed. I drill, take it out. I sell uh, lathe, lathes. It's a very difficult, difficult word, lathes. And um, uh, once in a while I get a phone call. What do I do with all these numbers? I have not a clue. Um, well, they come in very handy now. Look, there's 48 different positions. If I make sure that it is tightened in position 48 or 0, whatever you want, and I drill my first hole, the next hole will be in position 16. Ta -da. Why? Next. Why? Why? I don't understand. 48 divided by 3 makes 0, 16, 32, oh, 48. Right. Uh, well, and 48 is 0. Yeah. Capish, capish. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so let's start on 48. You now see that the drill is not on center height. If I would drill the hole like this, the leg would be not straight in, would not go straight in the oak, in the seat. So, meaning I first have to get this exactly on center height. Of course, I have to drill a hole that is perpendicular to the wood. And I have a little square here, so I can check if the wood and the drill are square. In this position they are. Also, I need to know how deep I have to drill. 30 mils this is. And if I put my drill against the wood, it's almost there. Let's say this is also three, millim three millimeters. So at least I have to drill a hole of 33 mils. 33 mils. The hole has to be deeper than this. And well, it is just a tiny little bit, but that's enough. So let's start and drill. Well, that's one drill that needs to be sharpened. <laughs> um, but we're not going to do that today. I'm just going to drill another three. Two holes. Here's number two. Ooh. Terrible. Sorry about that. Um, and the last one over here. That should be it. Let's check this. No, it's not. <laughs> it's for your wife, right? Yep. Such a bummer for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make another recess. I think we have to make the recess about over there.
We don't need much depth, just enough to hold it. Okay, that's it for the gouges. Let's sand this nice and smooth. Speed down. My angle drill with 180. That's okay. And turn it around. Oh man, it's holding here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think I'm going to look again in, to this video in the winter. <laughs> it's a great idea. There we go, uh, flatten the surface again, make this a smooth part and round off the edges. Bit of speed. These were the rough cuts. That was the finishing cut. Now we do the rim. Gouges are finished, time for sanding. By the way, the sanding starts and ends with 180. Time to mount it all together. Uh, normally I would use a white wood glue to glue it together, but just for, because we're now videoing and we can't wait. It's TV, everything has to be done quickly. Um, therefore I will use a very thick super glue That's the activator and number one. Oops. Last glue in the hole. Activator on the wood. Uh, one minute. 
well, it's one second actually. And there it is. Woo! I like it. See you next time. I like it, I want it. No, it's for my wife. <laughs> <laughs>